Hey guys, welcome back to Jet Set Simmer. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Chicago, but yet again, don't let it deceive you. It's freaking cold. I'm thinking that these are the last few days that I'll have to wear this bandage over my ear since my surgery. So I'm super excited about that because I'm sick and tired of changing this out. Also, my beard has gotten literally crazy. I need to trim and shave it or something because it's getting insane right now. But I have another speed build for you today, so let's jump into it. So lately I've been doing a lot of small builds. I don't know why, but maybe it's just because it takes so long to record these and whatnot, but I need to try making a larger family home at some point. But for this build, we've got another starter home. I think this house ends up only being one bedroom, so it's not really one that you can grow a family in, but you can always expand onto it. Now, I recorded this speed build a couple nights ago, and I remember I was getting so frustrated with trying to build a house. I don't know, I was in some sort of a builder's block, I guess. And I literally could not think of a really cool way to build a house. I felt like everything I was doing looked so vanilla and so boring, but I guess a lot of my builds end up looking vanilla anyway because I try to go for a realistic look. I don't know. But after attempting like 20 different houses and not liking any of them and deleting them and restarting from scratch, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna stick with this house finally because I needed to go to bed. It was like 11.30 at night. And that's late for me because I go to bed super early. I don't know. And I am a very rare Virgo because most Virgos cannot fall asleep quickly. And I used to not be able to. I used to struggle with sleep apnea and I even had sleep paralysis for a little while. And in the past, it would literally take me so long to fall asleep. I would lay in bed at like 11 but I wouldn't actually fall asleep until maybe two or three o'clock in the morning. However, ever since my boyfriend and I moved in together and I sleep in bed next to him, for some reason, I think that just is very calming to me. He's almost like a human security blanket in a way, I guess, but not exactly. But what I mean by that is like when I'm on a trip and I'm having to sleep in a hotel room on my own, I cannot fall asleep. But any time I am sleeping right next to my boyfriend, I fall asleep so quickly. I'm just so relaxed and so calm and I just go to sleep really quick. So I feel like I'm a really rare Virgo at this point because Virgos tend to overanalyze everything. We lay awake thinking of all of these things that went wrong and that we wish we could change. We lay awake rehearsing things for the future. I don't know. But I guess I've momentarily grown out of that for now because I fall asleep so quickly. <laughs> 11.30 is definitely super late for me now. I go to bed at like 10 o'clock, 9.30 hits, and I'm like, oh, it's late. Like, I'm, I'm ready for bed. I don't know if like internally I'm just like getting older. I, I don't know. I'm only 28, guys, so. <laughs> right, right? Right? Yes. <laughs> I'm only 28 guys, I just really love going to bed early. With that, I'm also an early riser. I wake up super early in the morning, around like seven o'clock and I'm, I'm up and ready to go. That doesn't mean I'm a morning person though because I'm still rather grouchy in the morning. Waking up early and being a morning person are complete two different things. Anyway, let's talk about this build a little bit. Like I said, it's a very small build. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom type of build. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Bob Newby's house from Sims 1. I don't know why, because it doesn't really look anything like it, but I feel like that size is similar to the size of this house. And I really tried to limit the packs that I use to a few different packs in this build. So that way more people can download this into their game and enjoy it. I think that the kitchen ended up looking really nice. And I love using this range hood lately that comes with the cool kitchen stuff pack. And I did this in a build a couple videos ago where I did the challenge where you build a house where every room is one tile bigger. If you wanna watch it, I'll put the link in the description below. But that was the first time that I used that range hood in the kitchen and I ended up loving the look of it. So lately I've been using it in a lot of kitchens I'll probably end up overusing it at some point, but it's whatever. And I know I've used a lot of stuff from the Snowy Escape expansion pack in a lot of my builds lately, but I just love the look of it. Like, I think it looks so good. Um, 
I feel like it's the minimalistic wood tones that really makes me love the snowy escape items. So I'm sorry if I've been using it in a lot of builds. I promise I'll start venturing out to different items eventually. Also, I made a Twitter the other day and I'm loving it so far. The Sims community is just amazing. Like it's literally only been two days and I've met so many people already. I want to meet more people from the Sims community on Twitter. One of my tweets actually ended up like going crazy. I have like 800 likes on it or something because I recreated my apartment in the Sims. And that I did that build like months ago. So I didn't even record it or anything. So if anyone wants, I might actually do another speed build where I recreate our apartment. If you would be interested in that, let me know in the comments below. But I posted some pictures on my Twitter. My handle on Twitter is the same as my YouTube, Jet Set Simmer. You can find me anywhere you go. But I posted some pictures of my actual apartment versus my Sims recreation apartment. And um, I guess a lot of people have really enjoyed it. So I've been able to meet a few people through that tweet. And I don't know, it's just really cool to meet people within the community, I guess, because I've always been a Sims player. I've played Sims since the first Sims came out in 2000. I was like nine years old. I played through Sims 2, Sims 3. I've been addicted to Sims for much of my life. I stopped playing a little bit for a few years, but since quarantine, I've definitely fallen back into my addiction of playing The Sims. However, I've never really been an active member, a part of The Sims community until just a couple days ago. But it's just been really cool to engage with other people in the community. I'm trying to find my spot in the community, I guess. So I really haven't met a ton of people. So if you are a part of the Sims community and you are on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, let me know, introduce yourself so I can follow you back and just make more friends in the Sims community. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching me furnish this house. It's very earth tony like much of my build. I need to venture out and do some other styles at some point. The back deck is just very simple, like, I don't know, I feel like much of this house is just very simple, but I love playing in houses that are super simple. I don't, it's just my vibe. Like, look at my bedroom. You can tell this is just, it's, it's just my style. And for this build, I actually didn't use any debug items for the landscaping for once. Usually I always use debug because the debug plants just look so amazing. But for this build, I just figured, you know what? We're just gonna use the actual plants that come in game. And I think it looks super cute. I meant to put a tree in front of the house, but I didn't, but whatever. The house is super small. It would be perfect if you're playing with one or two Sims. You can expand onto this house if you'd like. If you do expand this home, I would be really interested to see. So like show me pictures on Twitter or something because it would be really cool to see how people expand onto this home. But with that, why don't we jump into game and I'll give you a quick little tour of this build. All right, so this is the outside of the build. I just think it looks super simple. It's super cute. Uh, I love the plants in front of the house. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just such a plant fanatic. But when you first walk into the house, you walk into this little entryway and I've got this little section to place shoes. You can change the setting if you want. Um, I'm gonna put on remove shoes indoors just because I think that's so much fun. You've got two other entryways. This, If you go this way, you go into the living room and kitchen. If you go this way, you go into a second hallway. Over here, we just have a super simple living room. I've got a little chess table right here and a bookshelf to build up some skill. We've got the TV over the fireplace. I just think this house is so quaint and cute. It's such a perfect little starter home for a single sim. Over here, we have the kitchen. It's super simple. And then as you can see, the hallway leads to the bathroom and the bedroom. The bedroom is super simple. I've got an easel in there to build up some paint skills. And then we've got the bed and the dresser in here. And it's all earth tony. I love the colors of this room so much. It's just a very cute home. And then the bathroom is just very generic. It's a very vanilla bathroom. We've got the shower tub combo the toilet, the sink, nothing special. And then in the backyard, we got this little deck out here. I was going to put an awning over here, but I didn't. We've got the grill. We've got a picnic table, some seating, and some lounge chairs out here. There's not really much to do in this backyard at the moment, but you can always add more to the backyard if you would like. All in all, this house is super cute. If you would like to download this house into your game, I did post it up on the gallery. 
As always, you can find me on the gallery. My ID is Jet Set Simmer everywhere you go. And here it is right here. I've just called it Average Singleton. It's got a few items from a few different game packs, but the majority of the items actually come from the Snowy Escape. Yes. So if you don't have these other packs, don't worry. You can still put it into your game. Just one or two items may be missing. With that, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, if you have a Twitter, go find me on Twitter. Say hi. My username is Jet Set Simmer. As always, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Also, I feel like I'm still semi in that builder block. If you have any other building ideas that I should do, please let me know in the comments. I'm running out of ideas. I need some ideas for different themed builds. Maybe some build challenges? I don't know.